Hello gamers, hope you have a wonderful holiday. As you guys might remember, few weeks back, I did a video regarding how to boost FPS in Valorant, and also test it out with a low-end system. It received so many positive feedback from you guys. And also many of you guys asked me to make a same kind of a video for PUBG Lite as well. So here is what I'm gonna do today. I know PUBG Lite is kind of a dead game at this point. But most of my subscribers are low-end gamers, I decided to make this video for you guys. If you are playing PUBG Lite on 30 FPS and struggling to win games, I'm sure you will get around 90 to 100 FPS after doing these steps. As always I'm gonna test all these settings in my laptop, and show you the results as a proof. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to do so. There will be so much content coming your way in upcoming months. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, before moving on, I would like to give you some few general tips that you can do to improve performance of your system. I already explained these tips on my previous video regarding Valorant. So, I'm not gonna explain everything here, but I'm gonna remind some of it. Okay first, make sure you are running on Windows 10, 64-bit. And also make sure to update your Windows to the latest version. Secondly, make sure you are running on latest graphics drivers and other drivers. You can easily download all the drivers and other programs directly from the PUBG Lite download page. The link will be in the description. And also, if you are using a laptop, make sure to connect your power cable while gaming. Otherwise most of the time your system will running on power saving mode, which will reduce your performance. If you are using Windows 10, make sure to enable gaming mode. And also make sure to change your system power plan to higher ultimate performance mode. If you don't know how to enable ultimate power plan, I will put a link in the description, you guys can check it out as well. Okay next, let's disable full screen optimization and change high DPI scale settings in PUBG Lite. Go to your PUBG Lite installation folder and follow my steps carefully. Okay, all of these above mentioned steps are help you to improve performance, regardless of the game you are playing. So try to complete most of these steps. After that, let's move on to the Ingham settings. Okay, before changing the Ingham graphics settings, I will try to explain which settings will help you to boost your FPS to the maximum. First, make sure you're running the game on full screen mode. The resolution should be set to the lowest, which is 1280 by 720 FPS limit should be disabled or set to 300. Then go down, and make sure to disable dynamic resolution. The most important setting is the resolution scale. Lowering this setting will boost your FPS dramatically. But the game will be blurry. Let's see the difference between 70 resolution scale versus 120. Even though the game looks blurry, it's still playable in 720p resolution. Next up is field of view. Lowering the FOV will help you get some FPS. But it's not that important in my opinion. So set it to whatever you feel. Let's see the difference. Next, set all these graphics options to the lowest, because we want the maximum FPS possible. Another important setting is lighting. Disabling lighting will remove all shadows and other effects. It makes your game look like a cartoon, but it will double your FPS. That's what we really want, more FPS. Here is a comparison.
so you should definitely disable lighting. And also V-Sync should be disabled as well. That's pretty much it for the Ingham settings. Let's test these settings in my laptop. Okay guys, now I'm running the game on my laptop with Intel HD 620 graphics. My laptop specifications will be available in the description. The game is running on default settings, which is very low settings with 720p resolution. But the render scale is set to 100, and lighting is enabled. So, I'm getting around 30 FPS, which is pretty bad. But remember I'm also recording the gameplay using OBS, which also cut off some of the performance. As you guys can see the FPS is dropping below 30 when I'm spring. Anyways it's not good of experience. Let's change the settings more. Now I'm running the game on render scale of 70 and lighting disabled. I'm getting around 50 to 60 FPS with the OBS running in the background. It's a decent FPS, but let's turn off OBS and see how much FPS we actually getting. Now I'm recording the gameplay using my phone. As you guys can see, I'm getting around 70 FPS, which is pretty good. But in actual match you will get more FPS than in the training ground. If you are satisfied with your FPS, the video is over for you. Go ahead and have fun. But if you still want more FPS, there is a one more step that we can do. Which is changing the game files to reduce render scale to 50. Honestly, it's pretty hard to play the game on 50 render scale, but you will definitely getting more FPS. Let's do that as well. Now watch carefully and follow my steps. First, make sure to enable show hidden files in Windows. Then follow my steps carefully. Now open the config file using notepad. Now find the render scale and change it to 50. Now save the changes and go to properties and enable red only mode. Now the game will run on 50% resolution. Let's jump into an actual match and see how much FPS we will get. Now I'm running the game on 50% resolution scale. With no other applications running on the background, I'm getting around 120 FPS, which is insane for a low-end laptop. The average FPS is around 100 plus. The graphics are not that pretty, but the game is now smoothly running, no lags, no FPS drops or anything. If the 50% scale is difficult for you, I would recommend you to change the scale back to 70. Then you will still be getting around 90 FPS, which is a lot better than 25 FPS before. So, that's pretty much wrap up the video guys. I hope this video will definitely help you in improving performance, especially if you are playing on an ultra low end PC or laptop with Intel HD graphics. This video took some time and effort to make so, if this video helped you in some way, please make sure to drop a like. And if you have any issues regarding the settings, make sure to drop a comment below. As always I'm happy to help. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the notification squad as well. I'll see you guys in 2021. Happy New Year to you all. Stay safe. Have fun.